I'm running low. I'm running low on energy. Only got about five hours of sleep last night. I'm running low on money. And I'm running out of time. I have class in like an hour. I gotta make this quick. But I already have my picks in, so don't worry that these are like rushed. They're not rushed. Welcome back to my week four NFL analysis that nobody watches. I'm Zach or Pete. And today we are doing week four NFL analysis. I don't know why I just told you all that twice, but I did. We're going to do this a little bit different than I have been. So some games I don't like betting on. Sometimes I'll be like, I wouldn't bet on this if I wasn't doing this. So I'm not going to do that for every single one. I think there's like three or four bets that I just don't want to make one for. So I'm just going to put like more money on a different one. $5 as usual, a solid base. That's, we're going to try to do something for each game. Um, or like two bets for each game, but if it doesn't work out, we're just putting $10 on like certain stuff. So anyway, game one, we got Vikings versus Saints. I personally am taking Vikings minus two and a half. I think the Vikings are still a really good team. And I think that Kirk Cousins is in it for real. Um, I'm going to fix my camera because it looks a little crooked right now. Um, but I'll keep talking. I think that, no, I'm not going to keep talking. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think that um, the Vikings are like really good and, and the Saints just aren't good. I think the Saints have a good defense, but it's Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston's not beating the Vikings, that's all I'm going to say. We do have a player prop for this game. We are going with, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Irv Smith. We're doing this again. It didn't work. They took it off. <sighs> I literally made this uh, Excel sheet like an hour ago, not even. I had Irv Smith over two and a half catches. It's not there anymore. I'll wait to make that. And I was going to put $10 on that one too. So I'm still going to put my $10 on that because in the next game, we only have one of the best. But they're literally listening. Like, they have this Excel sheet downloaded and they're just like taking my shit. Anyways, we have Chargers minus five and a half. Oh, they made it five. Okay, they keep changing stuff around while I'm working on it. Okay, we got Chargers minus five for the next game. After getting annihilated by the Jaguars, I think the Chargers are mad. They're going to come out. They're mad at the AFC South, even though I don't even know. They're just mad. So they're going to beat the Texans by more than five and a half, but it's five right now. But we don't have a player prop for this game because nothing was open. I'll see if it's open now. There's like still not much open right now. And the next game, the Jets versus the Steelers, we don't have anything in the big six either because I don't like it. But I did make a big, or like not a big parlay, but like a bigger $10 single game parlay on this one. And I have Mitch Trubisky and Zach Wilson to both throw an interception. Interception thrown, one plus. It was like plus like 120 earlier-ish. Yeah, it's, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. So it's still plus 120. I'm putting $10 on this one because I'm not putting anything on the, um, whatever you call it. I'm not putting anything on the big six of this game. So both quarterbacks suck and both defenses are pretty good. So the Jets defense sucks, but Mr. Bisky. And then the next game, we have the Colts versus the Titans. And I like Colts minus three and a half. I know I take, I'm wearing Colts right now. So obviously I'm going to be a little biased, but I think that the Colts are like still kind of disrespected. They, the announcers kept disrespecting them throughout the game against the Chiefs. And then the Colts ended up winning and they just looked dumb. Shaquille Leonard, form, if you guys don't know that, is this Darius Leonard, he just wants to go by Shaquille, so Shaquille Leonard is coming back, um, he's been practicing for like a week, he could have played last week probably if it was like a really important game, but we won anyways without him. You guys probably haven't been watching um, every single one, I don't know, maybe you have, but if you have, then you know that I've been making the same bet for the Colts, player props every week. Jonathan Taylor over like, um, his like longest rush to be over a certain amount, he's hit it I think like two to three weeks, yeah he's hit it two to three weeks, so... We're gonna do it again. He didn't hit it last week, but the Colts didn't really make too many big plays on offense, and we're going against the Titans now instead of the Chiefs. Last season and the season before, he always starts off slow, but he starts picking it up like around this time, so I think he's in for a big day. Browns versus the Falcons. In this game, I like the Browns' money line. Jacoby Brissett is a much better quarterback than Marcus Mariota. I know that the Falcons are at home, but they don't really have much going for them other than they have like a few weapons on offense, like um, Kyle Pitts and Drake London, but they don't really have a running game outside of Marcus Mariota too much. And I think that that will really hurt them in this game because I don't think Marcus Mariota can throw that much. I think that the, Brown, or the Browns secondary is pretty good. Um, so, We'll see what happens. We're also going with Nick Chubb's longest rush over 17 and a half. Anyways, on to the next game. We got the Bills versus the Ravens. I think that this will be the game of the week, especially for the early slate on Sunday. And I think that this will be a high scoring game, even though both defenses are pretty good. They're both, both defenses are good, but both offenses are elite. And I think that both quarterbacks are both going, like they're both the top MVP candidates in my opinion. So I think that they're going to want to put up a lot of points, a lot of yards. So we're going to over for this game. I like Dawson Knox, longest reception over 15 and a half. Catches the ball deep a lot, like for like a third and like long. Josh Allen will be running away and then we'll just find Dawson Knox up in nowhere. So that happens a lot. So I'm going to put my $5 on that. $5 pays up 9.34. The Jaguars versus the Eagles. I'm not going with anything in the big six. 
But I am going to go with Devonta Smith receiving yards, which is 58 and a half. I like that. And I do think that he's better than A.J. Brown, but that's just my opinion. For the next game, we have the Commanders versus the Cowboys. For this game, I like the over. Cooper Rush has been doing well. Maybe not as well as he needs to, but because the, the defense has been really holding them like, like together, but... I think that against a weak, weaker Washington defense, he should be able to put up some points. And then for a player prop for this game, we're going back to the longest rush, but we're going with a backup this time. We're going with longest rush by Tony Pollard over 12 and a half. He's done this the last two weeks in a row, and I think that he's better running back than Ezekiel Elliott. I don't know why he's not starting it. I think Jerry Jones has his head up his ass in that sense for not having him on there. So I think that Tony Pollard will get a rush over 12 and a half. The next game, Bears versus the Giants. For this game, I feel like both teams are like decently in the same category, but I think that the Giants are a little bit better, especially in the running game, because they actually know who their starter is, unlike the Bears. The Bears don't even know who they're gonna start week to week, I feel like. It's either it's Khalil Herbert or um, David Montgomery. One of them pops off, I'm done betting on them. I bet on David Montgomery last week, and out of nowhere, Khalil Herbert drops like 30 fantasy points, so we're not doing that again for the Bears on their running backs. We are gonna bet on Giants minus three, because I feel like the Giants are the better team a little bit. They have a decent defense, and they also, have an insane running game with Saquon Barkley, who might pace the NFL in rushing yards again like he did his rookie year. I guess we did the player prop for this, and we are going with Saquon Barkley's longest rush over 16 and a half. I'm actually gonna throw 10 on this one. When I tried, yeah, when I tried making a bet on Herb Smith catches, I'm just gonna throw $10 on this for right now. For the next game, we have the Seahawks versus the Lions. I like the under, and I only like the under because the Lions offense won't be the same without, first off, DeAndre Swift. And then also Amon Ross St. Brown and Kyle Reynolds are both kind of hurt. Even if they play, it won't be full speed, obviously. So I think that the under is pretty safe for this game, in my opinion, for, especially for minus 105 at 48. So I'm going to put my $5 on that. For the player prop for this game, I like Jared Goff passing touchdowns under one and a half. The odds are plus 105 for this. I think that they're highly overvaluing Jared Goff without Amon Ross St. Brown. If he doesn't play, this is almost guaranteed. If he does play, I mean, he'll probably get a touchdown, but and I don't think anybody else will get a touchdown. Maybe TJ Hawkinson, I guess. This gets me out of the next game, which is the Cardinals versus the Panthers. This game's weird. I don't know why the Cardinals aren't good. I just don't get it. They have a good defense. They have Kyler Murray as their quarterback. Maybe Kyler Murray's just not as good as we thought. I don't know. But I like Cardinals' money line for this game. I don't even know what to think about Barker at this point because he was decent in Cleveland. He was better in Cleveland than he is on the Panthers, and he's not good. He wasn't good in Cleveland by any means, so I don't know. I I thought he'd be better somewhere else, but I guess I was just wrong. He's one of the bottom, like, five quarterbacks right now, so. I like him, though. I do like him, so sorry, Barker. Both teams are very reliant on big plays. So that being said, we are going to make a parlay again, a single game parlay. And we're going to go down to passing props and then longest passing yards. We're going to go 35 for each uh, quarterback to get a 35-plus passing completion. Odds are plus 225, which is pretty good for this. So we're gonna put five dollars on that. That pays out sixteen point two five. The Packers versus the Patriots. I don't really like anything on this because I don't like Packers minus nine because they don't put up a lot of points right now. I don't like minus one or minus four fifty for a bet. What I am gonna do for this is what I did last week, and I'm gonna just do um, Aaron Jones over eighty four and a half rushing plus receiving yards. Aaron Jones is one of the only like consistent players on that team, unless he fumbles. If he fumbles, if the ball hits the ground, then AJ Dillon will get all the work again. That happens every week. Whenever one of them fumbles and has like a really bad play, they get pulled for like the rest of the game. So now we have the last game before the two primetime games. We have the Broncos versus the Raiders. <clears throat> I don't think that the Broncos offense is as good as people think or it's like good. I, it's, I don't get why. Like it's another thing for me. I, it's like I can't even fucking talk. I can't even talk about it. It's like confuses me so much. I don't know why they're not good. They have like Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton at receivers. They have um, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Akawawa, whatever uh, tight end. He's good too. Um, and then they have like um, Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon at running back, and they have Russell Wilson at quarterback. So I don't know why they're not putting up as many point as many points as you'd expect, but they're not. And also the Raiders offense just hasn't been as good either. I mean, Devontae Adams gets his touchdowns, but what else is there? I mean, they're just not winning games. They're the only 0-3 team in the league, and that's for a reason. I guess they're just not as good as people thought they'd be. I don't know why they're not either, so this game confuses me. 
I am going to make a bet, though, on this. I am going to go under 45 and a half because I feel like both offenses are, like, not as good as people thought. So I think under 45 and a half is pretty safe. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I just sound dumb right now. I usually do. So, anyways. For a player prop for this game, I am going to go Derek Carr over one and a half passing touchdowns. It kind of contradicts what I just said before about them, like, not putting up points. But when they do score, it's been... Derek Carr passing the ball, either Darren Waller or Devontae Adams a lot of the time this year. The first primetime game, we have the Chiefs versus the Buccaneers, Patrick Mahomes versus Tom Brady. People thought after week one that Patrick Mahomes was going to be like an MVP again. He was going to throw like 50 passing touchdowns again because he was doing those little dumbass passing touchdowns where he just goes, flips it in, whatever, whatever. Didn't happen against the Colts. But anyways, we're going, I know I was just hating on the Chiefs, but we're going Chiefs money line. I just think that Tom Brady's old and doesn't, I don't think he can beat Patrick Mahomes at this point in his career. Patrick Mahomes can pop off whenever, and I feel like he's really good at primetime games. And then for this game, we're going to go with the weekly special for the player prop, which is Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady each to throw one or, one or, for both of them to throw one or more passing touchdowns each um, half, so... I do like that, plus 250. The last game of the week, we have the Rams versus the 49ers. And I think that the Rams are still a really good team. I think that they're coming off of their Super Bowl um, hangover, I guess you could call it. Because I think that they're getting their stuff together more and more each week. And we're going to go with the Rams money line. I don't think that Jimmy Garoppolo is that good at primetime games. I think I said it last week. And then for the player prop for this game, we're also going with the weekly special because nothing else is open right now and I kind of like this, which is Cooper Cup and Debo Samuel eat, or combined over 250 total yards um, rushing plus receiving. So plus 180, that's pretty good. Both of them run the ball a lot and both of them catch the ball a lot. So we're going to go with that. I think that that's decently safe. I think I could easily see one of them putting up 200 yards and the other one is putting up like 100, so I think that, that could definitely hit easy. $5 pays up $14. I know it sounds like a lot of yards, but it, I don't know. We still have $15 to play around with right now. I know I have to make the Herb Smith bet, but I still have $5 to put on another thing. So I'm going to go back up to one of these games and put $5 on another on it again. So I'm going to go back up to the Saquon bet for the Giants. I'm going to put 5 more on that. Yeah, I'm going to put 5 more on Saquon over 16 and a half. Um, as his longest rush. Let me see if the Irv Smith bet is open yet. Yeah, they still don't have Irv Smith receptions open right now, which is annoying. I don't think Justin Jefferson is getting six and a half catches because Marcus Lattimore will probably be on him a lot of the time. But I'm not going to bet on that because Justin Jefferson is Justin Jefferson, so I'm not going to touch that. Shut up, bitch. I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> um, I'm gonna wait for the Irv Smith bet to open back up because I like the over two and a half receptions. I don't know why it left and so I couldn't bet on it. But anyways, that's that for week four of our NFL analysis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully we can get our get back yet again because we did in week two after losing week one. So hopefully we don't lose back to back weeks. Um, we're down like $20 on the season, so we're not down too much, but I want to get up and I want to get green and I want to get green a lot. So I'm slowly trying to switch around my style a little bit. That's why I'm making some $10 bets and skipping out on some other stuff. So hopefully this works. If it doesn't, whatever, we'll keep messing around with it until it does. I hope you guys enjoy this video, as I said before, and I'll see you guys probably... And I'll see you guys next week 100%. I was going to say maybe again this weekend, but I'm going home for the weekend. So I don't think, I'll probably try to get my mom to be in a video, but I don't think that'll be uploading a video again this weekend. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Make sure you guys sub too.